the moment you've all been waiting for, the capybara. <laughs> Lol, no one waiting for this. Um, well, maybe one person. I saw a request, and I don't, I don't get animal requests that often. So when I do, I'm like, okay, know nothing about this creature. It looks like just a soft sort of badger <laughs> or something. So I'm on a landscape page. Use a pencil, use an eraser, hit pause, we'll go too fast. We're gonna go for kind of full body on this one because he's kind of like just a round ball of fur. So, head up here, top right. Eye up here, curved line. Stars off, right? With the top of his eye. Then, we curve it around the bottom back up into a point just here so his eye appears to be just black really with like a shine or a highlight left in it here right so you would just color that dark it looks like a balloon I might just fill that in now okay so then we've got like some eyelashes kind of here on the side, right? So we'll just like darken this up and then we'll add like an eyelid line. They've got like this gray sort of skin tone, kind of blurs with the fur, but you can see a line here. And then there's like an, like an eyebrow sort of area, furry sort of eyebrow here. Another section around the eye like that. Okay. So, not much more detail, right? So we're gonna like jump to the nose probably down here. So we could do like a little sort of texture line just bringing us down the direction and very very light but then the nostril is here all right and it's just a black kind of looks like a grain of rice or something right. now so a little sort of edge line kind of around this so like comes around here and then we have a line in the middle that seems to come down and become the mouth right so it runs down the nose and it's like got this curving sort of mouth line here Okay. So then his other, so his bottom lip comes out this way. And like joins his chin sort of situation. So it starts to go like down here basically. Off down that one joins the head. But we can just see like his lip on the other side. And the other side for his nose then bump around there there's another black nostril kind of skinnier than the other one because it's turned away from us it's like his nose like is kind of it's not like defined he's got like a brown section but it's mostly kind of like just where the fur sort of joins his mouth here, like, and you've all whiskers and stuff that go sort of that way. So you can't really draw much to separate. Like, you couldn't draw a pure line. Just little sketchy marks like that kind of show it's a little bit hairy and, and stuff at the corner of his mouth. So his chin just kind of goes this way, just a little bit, and then, like, gets kind of hairy. And this will eventually kind of like join his leg kind of a thing.
So we just go back up and finish the top of the head, get the shape going back this way towards his ears. So he's got this bumpy kind of round snout. And up here then it kind of gets a little bit hairy and, and stuff. He's got like big eyelashes as well. Coming out from the other side. You can't really see them on this side. Maybe it's just fur. Okay. So then the ear, it's kind of like connected a bit to his eye, right? So like the fur for the ear kind of like comes out from the corner of the eye. And the ear just kind of comes out from the head then. Curving around. Here. Joins the head then again, and that just goes into sort of his furry sort of jaw sort of area there, and then it has like all this fur on the inside as well. So it's like the fur from the head runs into the ear, you know. put it like a little interior sort of line like that right so we could give him like a little chubby sort of jaw right like a little but it's mostly like just hair sort of curving around this way not much right because he's not he does not have chiseled sort of features it just goes in there like that like very little just a suggestion and then the rest of his hair at the back of his head then goes behind his ear we can just see the other ear kind of sticking up from behind the head here then just the tippy top of it right, and then like if you want to add more sort of textures and stuff on all this you you can of course like maybe something underneath his eye there there is like loads of whiskers and stuff sticking out as well for example coming out from the side of the head where the other eye would be sort of here like these little sort of eyelash lines or something and then like the whiskers all on the other side of the mouth and stuff and they're quite long They're rodents, so kind of you're going for like this mouse-like kind of look. Like then the, these ones all come down this way. Okay. So, rest of the head comes out from behind the ear. Just all furry. And then his back kind of just flies off around here. So we'll go, say, all the way back to there. So we'll go like this way. Right. Like again, like some little texture sort of lines and sort of help things a little bit. So that's the shape for his back. Right, and then like the front of his body so again it's real round so like that's like his neck but he's got like fur that like joins his limbs right and it comes all the way out from like his chin do you know like it's very it would survive a winter very well 
is what I mean. You know, all the way down here. I mean, this foot then starts sort of here. And the other side of the leg is like here. I mean, this sort of furry section there. So his other leg here and his hind leg is like all the way back. He's like sitting on a little mound. So I might draw the mound in as well. But his fur kind of just like his butt kind of comes back this way. And he's got like another, he's got like a hind leg hairline here. You can just see his foot like coming out from underneath fur here. And his other little arm sort of section, like his elbow for his other arm. It starts here, so this is like the front of that arm. And that all joins his body there. And then, like a toe there or something. That's one leg. And then the other leg. Sort of comes out this way. Again, it's all just like meshed into one little section. Okay. So, feet. We do this one like that's furthest forward, right? So he's got like hair on it. And then it looks like they have three feet, but three feet, uh, three toes, so three or four, I'm not sure really. So let's just go with the first one anyway. And there's like little claws and stuff curving out like so. And like the opposite side, so we'll just like add a little claw there. And they're pretty wide, so we'll go and try our best now with this. So people who know capybaras are probably like, that's not what their feet look like, but this is the best I could do with this. Right, so like three little toes. He's like on a rock, so we'll draw the rock after we do these things, right? So like this sort of toe. Three toes there. And then there's like one more, just like coming out from the fur, right? So it's like under his belly. So we got like these furry sort of sections and this sort of rock and stuff section here. And the foot just kind of sitting on the rock here. Three toes. Right, so kind of like that. And then this is just like rock and jaggedy sort of surface and all these kind of angled lines and stuff. So 
angled with some hatching just underneath. And you're just going in all these different directions with it, cracks and stuff. Okay. Cappy Barra. Again, he's just like a little furball. So you just like add brown and a bit of like shading underneath his belly. And I'd say you're good to go. Because if you did start drawing like loads of lines in here, it just wouldn't really make much sense, I would say. And I think it's three toes. I hope I'm right about that, but again, don't know much about capybaras. Right, not bad though. Maybe a bit more rock in here. He's like real furry. Mm, yeah, that'll do. Hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.